we will discuss the diagnostic criteria for different types of MGUS, specifically non-IgM MGUS, IgM MGUS, and light-chain MGUS. These criteria are important for distinguishing MGUS from conditions like multiple myeloma or Waldenstrom macroglobulinemia, as MGUS generally does not lead to organ damage or significant symptoms. For diagnosing non-IgM MGUS, which includes the IgG, IgA, or IgD types, three main factors are assessed. First, there should be a detectable serum M protein, either EGG, IgA, or IgD, with a concentration below 3 grams per deciliter, 30 grams per liter. This is identified through serum protein electrophoresis and immunofixation is used to confirm the type of M protein. It is also essential to distinguish this from polyclonal gammopathy, which has different clinical implications. Second, the percentage of clonal plasma cells in the bone marrow should be below 10%. Third, there should be no organ damage related to the plasma cell disorder, such as lytic bone lesions, anemia, elevated calcium levels, or kidney impairment. In cases of non-IgM MGUS, the free light chain FLC ratio is typically below 100. If this ratio reaches 100 or more, further evaluation is required to rule out multiple myeloma, including bone marrow biopsy and imaging studies. For IgM MGUS, a similar approach applies with specific adjustment for the IgM type. First, there must be a detectable IgM M protein in the serum, also at a concentration below 3 grams per deciliter, 30 grams per liter, identified by electrophoresis and confirmed by immunofixation. Next, the bone marrow should contain fewer than 10% clonal lymphoplasmacytic cells or plasma cells. Lastly, there should be no evidence of organ damage that could be attributed to a plasma cell proliferative disorder, such as anemia, symptoms of hyperviscosity, thickened blood, or enlarged lymph nodes, liver, or spleen. For IgM MGUS, an FLC ratio below 100 is also expected, and any ratio at or above this threshold would necessitate additional testing to exclude multiple myeloma. Light chain MGUS, LCMGUS, is diagnosed differently as this form does not involve a typical M protein. Instead, the FLC ratio is abnormal, indicating an imbalance between kappa and lambda light chains. Additionally, the level of the involved light chain, either kappa or lambda, must be elevated, but there is no associated monoclonal immunoglobulin heavy chain like IgG, IgA, IgD, or IgM. Bone marrow should contain fewer than 10% clonal plasma cells, and there should be no organ damage associated with a plasma cell disorder, such as lytic bone lesions, anemia, high calcium levels, or kidney impairment. In interpreting the FLC ratio, kidney function is a crucial factor as kidney impairment can affect these measurements. Reference ranges for the FLC ratio vary based on kidney health, with a typical normal range of 0.26 to 1.65 for individuals with an estimated glomerular filtration rate EGFR, of 60 or higher. In cases of moderate to advanced kidney impairment, such as an EGFR below 30, the expected range shifts to 0.54 to 3.30. It is important to note that an abnormal FLC ratio without an increased light chain concentration or a monoclonal heavy chain is not usually considered LCMGUS. In such cases, abnormal ratios likely indicate kidney impairment or polyclonal immune activation rather than MGUS. Further testing would then focus on kidney function rather than plasma cell disorders.